how does one describe 2020? Um, a lot of people have been so tragically affected by the events of the past year. For me personally, um, I live in a beautiful place with lots of space to sort of stretch my wings. And um, it was okay to be alone and, well, with my husband, and uh, to be spending a lot of time doing creative pursuits. Uh, the resin-coated little tiles, they aren't ceramic tiles, but they um, end up looking like ceramic tiles, are something that I recently discovered and I'm drawn to it and I decided to bring not only those, but works that I've done before in pastel and then some other experimental things with cold wax and oil. So it's sort of a combination of the things I've been playing with and um, with the uh, resin coated piece with the bright green background, that one is titled Socially Distanced, so I figured that was apropos to the theme. I'm a member not only of Circle Gallery, but of Yosemite Sierra Artists. We have a website and uh, one can look me up on that and also find a way to contact me there. I do have a website also through Fine Art America. I'm looking forward to Yosemite Sierra Artists Tri-County Show. Uh, in the past it's been held in the springtime. This year it will be in, I believe, August or September. And um, I believe Sierra Art Trails will be up and running again this autumn. So I'm looking forward to participating in that, should I get accepted. Yes, I'm feeling positive about the future. Um, I plan to create lots of new artwork and I'm going to be looking forward to displaying that artwork, whether it's at Circle Gallery or at uh, some other venues. The Circle Gallery is a very impressive gallery, and if you have not been here, uh, I urge you to come on down. There are amazing pieces of art here. The facility is stellar, um, and their mission of inspiring, inspiring the young people in our community is uh, so important. You know, we're all creative in one way or another. I know a lot of people say, oh, I can't draw or I can't paint, but everyone has some creative juices in them, and it's so important to nurture those and express them, and I'm so glad that uh, the Art Center is encouraging that in young people. My name is Sandra Lee Scott, my friends call me Sandy, and I live in Corsco.